Okay, let's get and uh, let's start up the third episode. Episode three: Probably growing pain, <laughs> growing pains. Once we resolve the BR4 issue, Irene threw herself back into her battle training. And just when we started getting back into a normal routine, we received some unexpected news. Another HQ supervised training battle. Did we just finish one uh, one of these? I think it's because of the average core has dropped since the last one. We're gonna and we're gonna have to kick everyone's body in, in gear, <laughs> or, or something like that. I, uh, I've already warned Mina, but I'll tell you to please don't try to intimidate the the admiral. Okay. <laughs> and good thanks. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about now that Irene's back at, and at fighting strength. This is merely a setback, but we'll be able to get through it in no problem. Okay. But Captain, I don't know what Irene's problem was, but are are you sure it's been um, rectified? Why? Is something wrong? Well, um... Christine sh uh, simply handed me Irene's shard. If you look at this shard, you'll see for yourself that her score have, haven't improved. They're actually taking a small decline. It's not very noticeable, but it's sh it's... It's there. Huh? I read that chart over and over again. And just as Christine said, Irene's scores had uh, had a small decline. I thought the, uh, the BR4 issue was taken care of. But does it and but the, does this mean that that wasn't the real problem? Could there be something else? Master? Irene, mean, good. I was just about to come find you. Where are you? In the hangar. There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me here, um, here, please? Of course, I'll be there in a moment. Hello, Master. Are you all right? Uh, what's going on, uh, going on, Irene? You see, the thing is, I don't, I don't think I can fly my suit any longer. What? Why? It's not. Uh, I. The longer I'm in it, the most uncomfortable I become. I think there's something wrong with it. it. It's so old, it could be broken. Broken, but it could serve us regularly. It can be broken. I'm so sorry, Master. I really tried to make it work. I don't want to let you down after all you've done for me. Uh, can you go into the stu- um, for me, Irene? I want to take a look to see what the problem is. Let's see if we can find a solution to this problem. Sure. After some urging, I had Irene get into the an uh, ion suit. Can you move your arm from me? Sure. Mm. Your movement certainly is a bit sluggish. Are you able to lift your leg? Hold on. Yeah, that's a bit slow too. Uh, Irene, are, are you tilting sideways? Well, I, I don't think so. Uh oh, could it be? Mm. Can you come out for a second? Uh, okay. I mean, I am. Uh, I'm just wondering. Is the cockpit a little bit tight for you? I think. I think it could be it, and that could be it. Okay. Can you get back in, in for a second? Yep. It's exactly what I thought. I mean, I don't want to. I want. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Okay. Well, wh what is it? I uh. I think the cockpit is a uh, big enough for you. Hmm. Well, the wood between the handles is a bit narrow. I don't think it's the problem. For, um, I don't think it's a problem for most pixie, but you, <laughs> but you have well, you have the ma uh, m m massive <laughs> yes, Irene. We're going to have to increase the space between the handle to accommodate you. Do you know that now that you mention it? I guess it does feel a bit cramped when I grip the handle. <laughs> oh my god, are, you, are, we, are we still having the same problem with this this type of thing? The height... And the height seems to be short too. And it's making you hunch over it. That isn't good for you back. This isn't, isn't good for your back. Why in the hell... Why in the hell will, with the ancient build suits like that? Well, when I first used the suit, it was fine. Hmm. Are you saying that your body has been developing? I suppose it, it, it is impossible. I've heard from heard of some pixies body changing over the, over the years. 
I guess my body has been changing a little. But I don't remember when it all started. Judging from how she fits in her suit, I'm going to say it was more of a gigantic change. <laughs> well, since it's, since, since it's a problem with the cockpit, cockpit, why don't we put you in a different suit? We have a few support suits on board, let's try on one of those. Irene? I, I guess I'm fine with piloting a different suit. It's just I don't want to I don't want to part with Ion. Hmm. She's so attached to her suit. I guess it's, uh, it's understandable. She has been piloting it forever. All right, we'll figure something out. Oh, we can just uh, and ask uh, Jenny if she'll she'll modify it for you. I'm so sorry for being <laughs> so 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 still about this, Master. It's okay. I completely understand not wanting to part for something. From something you had been for so long. I called Jenny to ask for her assistance. In a short time later. Here's Jenny! Alrighty then, which suit given you trouble? Seems Ionan's cockpit is, a, is too small for Irene. Do you think you can modify it for her? Sure can do, support suits are my specialty after all. And hop on, <laughs> hop on in the bad girl. I mean, let's see what we're work and working with. Sure, just give me a second. Taking my the condition of, of the suit. Well, how long will it take for um take you to fix it, Jenny? Um, well, master, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm afraid it's going to cost quite a bit to fix this problem. What? Why? Well, you see, I tried moving the parts around the. To create some more room, but that's not going to help any. Have you ever ever tried to cram something big into a tiny slot? It's like it's, it's like sticking a marshmallow in a keyhole. <laughs> I'll need to replace the whole cockpit, or or at at least replace some parts. Uh, so how much will it would you need? Hmm. Well, let me do the math. About this much. Wow! I can't. I already got shoot out after submitting the quarter, quarterly spending report. If I report this, ugh. but only being admonished for this will be a miracle. What will I ever even say if the admiral asks for our specifics? We need the money because I read massive. It's massive because she can't fit her. She's too. Ugh, somebody please kill me. <laughs> If I do something without the addition, additional part, it won't make any difference. It's up to you to decide, Master. <sighs> what should I do? That's not gonna work. That, fir that first option is not gonna help one bit. Got additional funds from the Admiral. We gotta go with this one. And I'm surprised that there isn't a third or fourth option. Maybe this is for the fourth episode? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Get an and get an invoice ready. I'll bring it to the Admiral for approval. Great. I'll leave, I'll leave the funding up to you. Don't worry, Irene. You'll have a great suit again. Sounds good. Master, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> well, if I'm going to be honest, I'm a little scared, but this is uh, this is something you need, and I'll fight for you. I'm sure she'll understand. Yeah, I just don't know how I'm, <laughs> how I'm going to explain the reason why. Do you think I should talk to her? Uh, what? W why is she moving so close to me? Well, we're going to have to explain why we why we need the extra funds, right? The Amo might get the wrong idea if it comes from you, so maybe I should be be the one uh, the one explaining it. Irene, hmm. Do I look that scared? She worried about me. Now I feel even more embarrassed. <laughs> No, no, don't worry about it. Leave it to me. I won't be a very good captain if it could if I could handle something like this, would I? Are you sure you'll be okay? I feel so bad making you do this. <laughs> what? Of course I will. Trust me. I'll make sure you are comfortable in your suit again. Okay. Then I felt Irene's hand on my on mine, squeezing tightly. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Okay. This is almost too much to handle. When she's close, oh, what the fuck? Damn. When she's close enough to hold my hand, her, 
they got closer too. <laughs> oh boy. I put in the funding re request with the ammo immediately. I won't let Irene down. I'll just have to find a way to convince the Admiral. Ugh, you want to modify the carpet because of what exactly? Uh, because of Irene's what? Uh, <laughs> look at my eyes and repeat <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> what you said is you needed to increase funds to modify the carpet because of Irene's. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, she's making me say so much worse than I expected. Uh, who cares? I'll just tell her like it is. Chest. Her chest is just too big. It's stopping her from even fitting in her cockpit. We need to increase funds to modify her cockpit. Otherwise, she won't have um, have a fair training battle ev evaluation. I see. Well, if that's the case, what was all, all, all the hesitation for? What? There's only one reason I can think of for your hesitation. It's because even you don't think the story is particularly convincing. What? Do you honestly think that, uh, that I that I buy some story about modifying a cockpit, a cockpit to accommodate someone's large chest? Just put her in a different suit. But but this is uh, this, this is a suit Irene has always used. She doesn't want to part with it. And now I know how it sounds really, but if you saw her in the cockpit, you you would agree with me. I know you would. The cockpit the looks uh, downright tiny compared to Irene's chest. I'm not trying to be offensive, I'm just making an observa observation about her um, proportions. The agent built her tiny suit, it's not my fault. They did something to uh, something so dumb. This, they, uh, this has some, uh, nothing to do with me, please. Think, uh, think of Irene. Nothing to do with you? Ugh. She isn't taking, taking this well. Oh, boy, what, what, what would I tell Irene? I have no choice. If you authorize the, the, this funding, I, I swear they will, and that will break the record at, at the next HQ training battle. What? The upcoming and uh, training battle? Yes. As long as Irene is able to fight, we'll smash that record no problem. I'm just going to have to put my faith in her um, hands. <laughs> you really think you can do that? Y yes, yes I do. Hmm, I'm not sure if I trust your confidence. Well, if this is what really you, if if what you really want, I've authorized the funding. You'll receive it in a day or so. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. I trust that you understand what this means. Hmm. Never mind. I'll take my I'll take my lead. See you at the training battle, Captain. Why is he being like that? <laughs> At least I was able to get this funding for Irene. Oh shit. The next day. I hope the parts are, are, are on their way. I put everyone uh, on alert so the repair can start as soon as they arrive. Hey master, are you busy? No, why? Um, is Irene, is Irene alright? Ever since she spoke to you yesterday, she has been acting a little off. What do you mean? Well... Oh crap. Uh, Irene! <gasps> but Master! What are you doing? What the hell is going on with you? Why are you jogging around around the ship? Do you have any idea how many people are watching? Huh? What do you mean? Is there, is there something about me that people shouldn't see? I uh... I... I <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Uh, regardless, why are you doing juggling all, all of a sudden? Uh, because we need the, our next battle training to go ba uh, to go well. I thought it would be good if I lost some weight. Uh, I told you already. We just need to fix the cockpit. You don't have to do this. But but if the cockpit isn't the problem, what if what if I am the problem? I won't be able to face you or Jenny ever again. <laughs> no, no. Hey, don't think like that. You're not the problem, Irene. Master, am I a freak? What? I've been trying and trying to fit it in, but it's just hard. I feel like such like such a failure. I can't fit in my clothes. I can't I can't pilot my suit, and now even just running around the other and um, bothers people apparently. It's not that it bothers them. It's just that it gets them aroused. 
<laughs> oh my god. Do, do you think I'm just wrong? I'm just the wrong for the modern world? That's... Oh, Irene. She must be so anxious because of everything that has, has happened lately. I should try to comfort her. What do I say? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one and this one. Irene, you're not going through this alone. You don't have to uh, adjust to this world all by yourself. Oh, really? Hmm. What the fuck? When we commented at you and you commented at us. Master? Ah, crap. Another thing opened up. They commented at each other. Just like the BR4 in your in your chest. Huh? Hmm? We accommodated you and you accommodated us. You already said that. Well, I'm not explaining this, explaining this well. The point is, when you're hard on yourself, we get uh, we get we get hard on ourselves too. That's not what you want, right? No. It's better to ease it, ease into the this together than it is to rush into it yourself. I promise you'll do fine in the training battle, especially since Jenny and I are working on it with you, Master. I understand what you're saying. You do? Of course. I get it. I won't rush into things on my own. I'm going to put my faith in you, Master. Thank you for trusting me, Irene. We parted, way parted ways and Irene returned to her room. I feel uh, a twinge in my heart as I watched her return to her room and smiling. After such a bumpy road, it felt like she was finally starting to fit in. I hope you get through this training battle without any issues, for Irene's sake. At least that's what I was thinking as I returned to my room. Oh lordy Lou, the fudge! <laughs> damn, he betted everything just because of the damn cockpit, and now if the freaking test doesn't go well, he's, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get fired. Then I read my fell even worse. Either way, let's keep to the next episode. Okay, let's start up the fourth episode. Episode 4, No Longer Alone. And the parts arrived next the uh, next day. Everything was in order and they were in great condition. But we were missing the most important thing. My brain. <laughs> what? The training battle is in the, is this weekend. This weekend, so I had three days at, at most. Uh, I this isn't the date you gave me originally, Master. Th that must be why the Admiral gave me that look, and she did. Well, I did say I will have the cockpit repaired within the week. <laughs> you, you can do it within three days, right, Cheney? Uh, of course, of course not. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? going to take me at least we a week to replace the main part and and but if anyone can do it it will be you right no I'm telling you I can't ah the mo that monster how could she let me do this I'm just I just dug my own grave well she isn't the mo she isn't the mortal who didn't know the training battle date wow I swore up and swore up and down that we make any new records. It seems I don't have a choice. Master, I'll just use a suit as, as it for this week in uh, week's training. No, no, you can't. This week uh, week's training is uh, supervised by HQ. It's far more intense than basic training. Even even for getting the scores, you could and you could get seriously injured. It's okay. I'll I'll just deal with it. I can't let this happen. No, I won't let this happen. What should I do? Is there some is there some sort of measure I can take? Should I try to modify the suit? Ugh. Uh. Let's see. First one. For now, fix what you can and move along. No. Handle this properly. Let but and let's bother Jane. <laughs> Damn. Okay, the first one obviously no, so let's go with in this one. The training medal doesn't matter, but it can't let Irene feel guilty about this. 
I'm sorry, Jenny. Please, Jenny, there has to be a way. What? No way, it's too much. I'll ask Labby and Julie to help you. I'll give you anything you need, please. Ugh. Ugh, fine, I'll try. I can't promise it'll be finished by the by due date and got it. You'll be the one to blame, not me. Don't worry, I'll just try to get it done, okay? I'll hang around so I can help in the copy every every time you put a piece on a piece on so we know if it's right. <laughs> I'm not sure they'll be necessary, I mean, but thank you. Maybe I should uh, stick around and help too. Thanks to Jenny, we were able to get everything going. However, my own incompetence was truly astounding. You can only just hope that Jenny will, will succeed. Three days later. Damn. <laughs> For three whole days, we worked side by side on Ion. And I came to find out one thing during that time. Jenny, you... You're a genius! What? Are you, are you just realizing that and this now? Oh no, of course, I knew, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it. I'm amazed uh, that the three of you were able to pull this off in just three days. I know, some, uh, sometimes my genius over even surprises me. You did good, master. Oh, please, you're the one who, get it, who got it done. I mean, how does it feel inside? Are you alright? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievably comfortable. It feels like I'm, I'm surrounded by clouds, not inside my suit. I know, right? That was um, that's what you get in with the SZ industry, though. Their stuff is just so incredible. Wait, SZ industry? Why the hell do you use their products? They're so expensive. Because I wanted to. Is that why the invoice was so big? <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Of course you did. Sorry. <laughs> Getting you slippery snake. Fine, I'll, I'll let it slide this once, but it only because you finish it on time. Oh, I'd love to take care to take care uh, out into space. Can I go for a test drive? Of course. The training is the training is later today, so I would suggest getting used to it as much as you can. Yes, sir. The cockpit was the problem all along. Now that she is comfortable and uh, had a comfortable cockpit, Irene shattered all of the old records. At first, she was a little awkward as she had to get used to the new cockpit, but we, uh, we will finally be definitely be prepared for our training battles. Irene, great job! Uh, oh crap, the evening came, and the training battle began. So has your cockpit, uh, cockpit been repaired? Of course, we were able to, tra um, able to train for a bit, a bit as well. We're ready whenever you are. You're telling me you actually pulled this off. Well, let's see if that's true. <laughs> Start with uh, an Irene's group. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh shit, Irene. Yes, master. Don't put yourself too hard. I don't want anything to happen to you. Don't worry about about me. Just do your best. Okay. I will. Don't worry about me. And so the HQ trading battle began. Oh boy. Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh god. Oh, three dummies to destroy. Good job, Lira. Watch out, we, ha man, we have incoming. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how to do that. And time your, con time your counter deck for the right moment. Don't worry, I got this. Hey yeah! Oh my god. Yeah, nice shot! Excellent, everything doing so everyone is doing so well. We'll get a better score this time for sure. And Irene? Irene, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. The dummy suit uh, is attacking Irene. Ugh. What the? Irene? It doesn't look, uh, doesn't look, uh, look like she's doing very well. No way, but we fixed the cockpit! Hmm? I'm afraid she might be struggling because of... Uh, she didn't get, get the proper test run. What? I mean, we pretty much replaced the entire suit. Uh, it's also new. Anyone other than Irene will be will be having a, a much harder time right now. She's doing pretty well. Gee. The, uh, does that mean that she's pushing herself too hard? 
Judging by how she seemed to slow and be slowing down Jazz. Irene! This training is especially tough too. She's going to get hurt. What do I do? Yeah, watch her, that's a bad idea. Irene, what do you want to do? Uh, Make her stop, that's bad. Actively advise her. Let's go with advising. Advising always helps. I understand that Irene feels strongly about this. I can't convince her to stop. But I can't just stand, um, stand by and do, do nothing. I mean, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. How's the suit? Are you doing alright? I'm, I'm fine. Of course she's saying that. There's only one thing I can do right now. Support Irene! Mm, alright. Well, let me direct you so I can help uh, alleviate some stress from the others. I want you to take it and take it easy and focus on su uh, supporting the rest of, the, of your team. Try to avoid attacking me if you can. You're, you're susceptible to counterattack right now. Yes, sir! And if you start uh, getting overwhelmed, don't hesitate to tell me. Okay. Alright, woman. Get into formation. Around Irene and protect her uh, so she can support you. Uh, that's not going to be easy, master. Just do it! Oh boy. The training continued much more smoothly. I focused on giving command to Irene. She followed them perfectly. The results of her hard work were excellent. Did we do well? Hmm. These are the best results I've seen in uh, this quarter. It seems you managed to get the score you claimed you would. Congratulations! You'll be receiving a new mini mini for suit development. Use it wisely, Captain. Thank you, Admiral. But ma'am, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? What's that? I really managed to pull this off flawlessly after all. After her carpet was fixed, so... I think you had to admit that the size her of her chest was the real problem, not my so-called incompetence. Is that so? Yes, ma'am, it is. I know that you didn't want to believe me, Admiral, but now you can see it, it, it was true. I see. So what are you- are you doing an apology? Oh, uh, n no. Then allow me to include you in on something, Captain. Based on Irene's luggage performance, it's clear that she did not have it have adequate time to train in her new cockpit. Since the repair will, would have taken at least three days, Irene would have only had a few hours to prepare at most. None of this would have happened if such an incompetent captain had confused the date of the training battle. Admiral, have you been spying on me? I don't need to. <laughs> you in, you in, in that to do is obvious. I would have let this slide because you managed to get, a, get good marks by your or your insolence is testing my patience. I'm sorry, Admiral, please forgive me. Hit the ground. Harder. Yes, man. <laughs> Ouch. And so the training battle con concluded. And Irene? She ended up in the infirmary. Master. I'm so sorry, Irene. I knew you were pushing yourself too hard. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. In fact, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, happy about what? Your communication with me during the battle, ma um, the battle master. It, it made me feel like I, w I wasn't alone. You were never alone, Irene. You were always close by. It's not as simple as that. It's just that today, I finally felt like I had a place in this new world. Irene? I had no idea you were so lonely. Irene smiled her beautiful... Um, Irene smiled her beautiful. She smiled at me. Her eyes were wet with tears of joy. Especially since I don't have anywhere to call home anymore. Irene, I we're so lucky to have you here. I really hope you can you can come out and come to call this place home. I hope to I hope so too, Master. She leaned forward to sit with me. What the fuck? Ooh! Awakening cutscene. Whoop. Let's see how her new look will look. Hmm, not bad. I mean, only a slight difference, but still. I mean, from what I can tell. Okay, later. So, so that's why and and what I wanted to talk about. I mean, it's great having an, ex an 
an exclusive club and everything, but nothing better than having everyone together. So you want to disband the Edgar Support Club? No, not really. We just exp we're, we're just expanding it. We're not having ex Asgard Social Society. <laughs> we're a social uh, social club for all of the all all of the pixies and on Asgard. That's right. We can all uh, bake cookies and drink tea together. What do you think, I mean, Sounds good, right? Yes, I think that sounds wonderful. Everything is fun when we get we get to do this together. How about we bake something together this and this evening? And now said she she set aside uh, uh she set aside the good oven. Okay. Man, I was hoping for an, an all-out ca uh, cat fight on the Asgard, but I guess that will that will remain a, in <laughs> that will remain a dream. I highly doubt that would ever happen. Oh, man, sir, I didn't, I didn't know you were he uh, were here. Oh, yes, I was just uh, passing by. I couldn't help but over here you're all getting together to bake to get, uh, tonight. We are. You should stop by, too. And that is if you had the time, Master. I, ca uh, I can't make the time. Hmm? If, <laughs> if I can get a cat fight, maybe I should try to make something else and um, something else happen. Oh, boy, like what? What do you think? A competition, obviously? So uh, since we did, since when did you and Irene got so cozy? This is starting to get unfair, Captain. You monopo monop monopolizing all, all the pixies. Mono monopolizing? What are you talking about? Uh, quit it, Kennel. Don't you know that fighting is bad? Ugh. <laughs> Irene had become comfortable enough to crack a few jokes uh, of her own. She was truly an in integral part of the Asgard. I hope that it will become home for her. Just as I said. Oh boy. Okay, let's see her ultimate. Celestial Glow. Restore 36 MP for all allies uh, with the uh, warmth of the stars. Hmm, not bad. Oh boy. It's been such a long time and I managed to get all of them right. Now I think it's been since November probably since I made a Master of Eternity video but damn. Now let's take a closer look, look at her dress and compare them to before because I'm just a little... <laughs> I didn't get the chance to like have a good uh, close look on her. Now let's see. Uh, let's see here. I mean, okay, so she has like a full dress and all that stuff. So now let's see where they're awakening for. I'm pretty sure you guys won't be able to do like see it properly. So, so I'm just gonna like edit it so you can turn around so you guys can see like the whole thing properly. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, it's just a slight change, but still. Doesn't look that bad. Did she always had that bow? What do I think about it? Let's check because I'm I'm actually here. Did she always had that bow? Okay, so she had like a really small bow, but now with her waking form, it's slightly bigger. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I know that a, a while back, I said that I'm gonna be doing a video where I do everyone's like final episode. Now, I'm getting to that. The problem is, I'm having trouble just trying to level up Jenny to level 48. I already got Leia, Pyrrhus, Labby, and Emily all the way to level 48. The same goes for Ophelia and Nice. And I think a couple of other characters. Also, Kana, Lita, Yuli, uh, let's see who else. Hey, I got them all to level 48. But I'm still having problem like trying to look at Jenny to level up faster, but uh, I'll get there eventually, one way or the other. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!